Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I was originally going to get some cotton and I was going to farm some bugs. But it turns out my cotton plants still haven't actually grown yet. I was waiting forever for them to grow, so... Boy, this cotton is rare. So I guess this means we're going to actually go hunting for diamonds. I know, yay. I don't think I'm going to find any diamonds. Okay, we got... I, I barely even did anything. Like, we have all the, um, required stuff. We have... Steel pickaxe, stone pickaxe, a lot of wood, and a lot of building materials. So it means we're ready. And we got food too, just in case if I take damage. Which I probably am going to take a lot of damage, because I enjoy just taking the shortcut down, and otherwise I just jump down. Okay, so um, I'm back at where I was last time I was here, which is great. Because now I get to decide where I'm going to be going next. It's the best part. I'm probably going to start digging that away, I don't know why. Oh, wait, I forgot to excavate some tin from last time. But since I'm looking for diamonds, I'm going to have to start digging downwards. I'm actually going to go this way, because I want to end up right below my house at the really end. But I, I feel like that's not going to be the case, because... Well... Since I'm not playing with coordinates, I really won't know where I am. Well, what, what's above me? Why is there so much iron in this cave? Um, I literally just stumbled across a little bit ago, like... Actually, I'm not gonna question it. Okay, so, um, here's the distinguishment between iron and copper. You see iron, and you see copper. Copper is a few shades lighter, and iron and copper side by side. So great right now. I'm breaking stone pickaxe after stone pickaxe, but then I'm getting cobble after cobble. At this rate, I'm actually probably gonna have to mine with, um, steel pickaxes, because... They don't break as easily, and they mine faster. And since we're getting so much iron, we may as well. Okay, so as you can see, it's round two of pickaxe making. We've actually made a lot of progress. So, um... Oh! Oh! Yes! Finally found a cave system. I had that feeling that I wanted to, like, turn back and then go that way. Actually... Oh yeah, I would have stumbled upon it either way. But anyways, yes. Okay, now we can start exploring the actual cave. Well, this water feels like it brings you up basically forever. So, uh... Wait a minute, I think. Oh wait, there is an end to it. Yeah, it feels literally endless. So I'm not gonna go upwards because our goal is to go downwards. But I, I could stop for some tin. That was a long way down. Okay, I'm beginning to run out of torches to illuminate the place. Damn, this speed on the pickaxe. I just love using it. It's so fast. I don't have to suffer with the slow speed that stone obtains me. I knew it would have been a good thing to um, bring a lot of pine leaves here because, like, it would be easy to, like, get up using pine leaves. And then getting down would be easy. You can just break all the pine leaves. Um. Okay. So, apparently... If I press F5, I can actually get my coordinate. Okay. Oh, and it also tells me the seed, which is way too long to remember. Whatever yaw- oh, yaw is the direction I'm facing. North, west, X, Z. And then we have our coordinates, which is great. I'm trying- Oh, nice. I was actually trying really hard to stay around, um, spawn, which I think is zero, 0 I don't know if it is zero, 0 I want to know what's there, okay? And here's the problem. I probably am not gonna do that. 
because there's so much to explore right now, and, okay, guess what, it's actually been, like, 10 minutes, maybe, 20 minutes, I don't know, it's been a long time, I took my time to use all my pine leaves, and then, uh, I just lit the entire cave up, and that took forever, but look at all these ores that I got, I got, like, 42 lumps of steel, oh, shoot, oh, phew, you know how I use my phone to record audio, like, and since the audio recorder, um, it doesn't really have to have its screen on, since it's not recording the video, it actually turned its screen off, and I was nervous, and I realized, oh, wait, no, it's still recording, don't worry, oh, yeah, um, the torch incident, Anyways, so basically, we got a lot. It means I'll be ready uh, for once I, once I get back up, I will be so good. It would be so good. I'm gonna have, like, so many ores. I'm gonna be rich, okay? I still haven't found a single diamond. According to my F5 menu, I'm at, um, layer negative 249, which means that if I want to find diamonds... I'm actually already deep enough to find them. Luck has to be on my side. Because slow is slow, and it's really slow. Uh, what? <laughs> Apparently, um, a coal lump and four torches make 20. Oh, never mind. That was just a temporary glitch. Sadly. This is not a small cave. There are so many ores right now. At this point right now, I'm probably just going to say, screw it, I'm going to build a furnace, and I'm going to start mining using my steel pick. I'm actually going to get lost if I keep going like this. I'm already feeling a little bit lost, but I, I think... Oh no, I kind of am lost. Okay, so, um, I'm actually back where I was a little while ago. Okay, but anyways, I'm actually going to set up a little bit of... A little camp here. Okay, so how's my workstation looking? Really bad. I know, I don't care. I just need some coal, and then, uh, yeah... I'm probably going to throw all my stone picks out somewhere. I need to find lava so I can actually... I'm throwing all these stone tools away. Garbage. Okay, the process has started smelting there. Uh, we're going to get some more coal. Okay, um, do I regret using my steel pickaxe and instead of my stone pickaxe? Absolutely not, because of the, the extra speed that I got mining the ores just feels so good. It saved me so much time, even though I'm wasting, like, come on, it's it's only th what? Wow, and I broke it on stone. And it's only three iron ingots. Think about it like this. Um, what am I gonna use my iron on if I'm not gonna use it on this? Yeah, so I may as well use my iron. And all the ores I collect. I'm gonna go back, make a trip, and then... We're still not going to be able to find diamonds because I'm still wasting time on these ores. Oh wait, yeah, there's a sign. Because it's like really dark there, so then I never look to go there. But then, yeah, my house is, it is this way. It's a good thing I brought signs. Because I, was, I wasn't about to go all the way back, you know, to like ground level, which is like 200 blocks above. And I think the smelting has finished. Yes, it has. Oh, I ran out of coal in this one. How sad. How sad. Oh, I got more iron using the um, other pickaxe. Using the steel pickaxe than how much I thought I was going to get. Because, like, it was faster, basically. You guys, look at what I found. Another one of these waterfalls. Okay, I'm below layer to negative 256, so that means I can start strip mine. Okay, so, um, I started another staircase to go downwards, and it might not be diamonds, but, like, this episode was pretty long, so I'll just say a hunt for gold, maybe? Mies? I don't know. I think this is gold, not mies. And then we'll have to continue this next time, because just look at how deep I am in the ground. A lot, negative 350. So, yeah, I, I, I am kind of tired. And, okay, fine. I have a lot more ores in the chest because, you know, I started it. It's the moment of truth. Okay, it was gold. Ooh, there's more gold. 
Oh, there goes my pickaxe. Well, I guess that means we're going back. Yeah, oh wait, I, I did have another pickaxe, but like... This episode probably already has enough length to it. I've been filming close to an uh, more than an hour. I, I know it's going to be shorter after editing, but like... Shorter is probably going to be like 20 minutes, and that's still really long. So we'll go hunt... We'll go hunting for me's and, um, diamonds next episode. So, yeah. See ya at the other end of this little staircase. Okay, I'm all the way, um, back up from that extremely long staircase, and yeah, you know what I mean. We did branch off from my little workstation. Over there, there are a lot of ores. I just took them all, and I'm like, I don't want to strip mine. And look at all this stuff. Let's hope my inventory is big enough to carry all this. Because, like, we're going to see. We're going to try to fit all this in. For in the future, I should probably leave some iron just in case. I should probably leave some wood as well. Okay, so, um, I made all these ores into the blocks. So, we got 14 blocks. How many steel golems would that be? None, because they don't exist. Um, and... I'm not gonna smelt these because I feel I, f I feel good having the lumps in the chest for some reason. But anyways, oh yeah, I'm gonna smelt the gold. Definitely, I'm I'm gonna smelt some of it. Okay. So anyways, I'll leave the episode off right here. See you guys next time.